Our original story aired on Monday night. On Tuesday, fire, police, and code enforcement officials were here. And today, most of the residents have found another place to stay. I mean, we're not kicking anybody out right now. I just want to make sure that you don't need any help. We've got Newport Ritchie Police Corporal Karen Norris making the rounds at the Travel Inn. The city isn't forcing residents to leave, rather encouraging them not to stay. Fire alarms that weren't working, none of them in the entire building. We found uh, a hot water heater that was leaking right into the ground. There were some issues with the sewage, open sewage. Now residents like Kimberly Goodwin are loading up and moving out. It's a blessing because now we're going to be able to be in a better place and get um, the help we need. Go on to housing and and that they're going to put us in a, a motel for a couple days. Organizations such as Metropolitan Ministries are helping with the transition. Goodwin is thankful for them and eight on your side. I didn't think this would happen this quickly. It's because of Channel 8 that, that we were able to get out of this place and get to a better place. Solely because of Channel 8 and they shone the light on the problem, the city and the police came right in and helped out. The owner and manager of the property declined an on-camera interview, but Corporal Norris is praising them for their cooperation. They refunded all the money to people who had paid ahead. They've really been cooperative. So what happens next? A caseworker will be assigned to each resident to help them transition from temporary housing to something more permanent. And as far as this property is concerned, the owners are going to have to fix all of the problems before they can officially reopen. In Pasco County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.